Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Hauler Time and my name is Amy and I am filming a Timu video today. Yay! And I've got my trusty sidekick. Let's see if I can... Oh, she's being super shy, but that's Peanut. Now I'm filming here. I don't like filming here because for one, this is not comfortable. I feel like I'm like, I don't know, I prefer a chair when I'm filming, but this area is clean and so we're going to go with it. And it does some nice shadowing in this area. So, all right, let's get started with a couple Timu items before we do some talking. All right, so... If you watched my last video, you know that I finally found some, or my husband finally found some Candy Moyo nail glue, which is just in time because I was ordering, trying to order stuff that was in the less than a dollar range. So a lot of the things I think in this haul are going to be less than that, but I got these nails. Now, look at the top of those. Like why 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 can't they come already filed down? So now I'm gonna have to get find a file and trim those. The little well, let me take it out. I've never noticed that on these kind of things, but look at that. See how that's kind of janky and all of them I, I know it's because they were all connected on a can you know a conveyor and they just get separated but I guess nail clippers maybe for those of you that run into this problem what do you use to fix that but anyway these are I guess this light main maybe is not so great with colors although that is pretty much the color it looks I like wine colored nails there's no surprise there but, so I got those, but they do look kind of big. And some people in my real life have asked me why on earth I would wear fake nails when I have nails of my own. Like, these are my real nails. And I don't know, because they're pretty, usually, and theoretically less work. Now I realize they can do damage to your nails, but is that only if they pop off? Like if you use the nail, the acetone to remove the glue and stuff, does it still hurt your nails? Is the idea that they are deprived of oxygen what does it? Like I don't, I don't understand. But I do know that people that go and have their nails done. I know they do say that their nails get really thin after that. I'm not looking to do this all the time, but for the ones that are cute, I mean, those are kind of plain. Those are, they've got so many better ones, but I'm a creature of habit. All right, let me pull up this order. And see... I, of course, had a couple different orders bagged together. So I made the mistake of placing an order one day apart from another order. And so they, of course, took that to mean they should put them in the same bag. Okay, I think it's in this order. Yeah, the other thing about sitting like this is I think because it bends my body in half, it <laughs> it changes the blood flow. And so I start getting a stuffed nose when I'm doing this. All right, these were a dollar three. I don't know why I felt like I needed to look that up. We've all seen Buku nails to know they're all about the same price. All right, next is, I'm not sure... 
I've kind of stopped buying craft things, so I don't... Oh, okay, well, the bag is open at the bottom. So, and of course, they put the little label over the name. It says mold remover. You can't really see it, but it's okay. So I got this for grout, I think, to, for, you know, like the shower. Household cleaner gel for tile, pool, wall stains, multi-purpose cleaning gel for glass, kitchen, washing machine, refrigerator, etc. It was a two-piece pack for $275 and it's 20 grams in here. So this is smaller than I was expecting. It doesn't this seems like with the way mine is, this probably will last me one time. <laughs> One time. Hopefully it lasts a while, but if it's just a bleaching agent, I don't know. We'll see. And I can't tell how long it says you have to wait. It says you can see the effect after a while. So... So, okay, so you take this, you apply it evenly to the area you are trying to clean, you wait for a while, and then you wipe it with a cloth. So, a cloth that you don't care if it bleaches out, because I'm sure this has bleach in it. So, you can get it for $275, I got it for $272. All right, let's do one more thing and then we can talk a little bit. All right, so Timu is a great source for greeting cards, provided you don't need one right away. And provided you don't care if it comes a little mangled. But I got, I hope you have buttloads of fun on your birthday with all these cat butts. So, and it's got a red envelope. This one actually looks pretty good. It's a little warped but it's not bent so and the envelope looks pretty good now I usually say if you get one that's super bent then make that one that you mail to somebody because then the post office bent it but yeah I kind of went on a card buying frenzy and they were in the under a dollar kind of thing area so you'll be seeing cards in several halls coming up all right but this specific one buttloads of fun right there 87 cents now most of these are plain on the inside, so let's just see if that's the case. So you've got to have some wit about you to um, fill in something nifty on the inside. I guess that's what 87 cents gets you. It gets you a cool cover, but you have to do all the thinking. So... It's a little, where did it go? Over here, it's a little bit banged up where the curvature is, but it's not anything, it's not anything bad. All right. So I paid 87 cents, like I said, and you can get it for a dollar forty nine. Well, I don't know if that's worth a dollar forty nine. Although nowadays cards in the grocery store are like six bucks, but you're paying for the witticisms inside, I guess. All right. So when I'm filming this today, 
we just heard earlier today that Bob Newhart died and that I was so sad. Now I had actually been thinking about him for some reason a few days ago thinking, is he still alive? I haven't heard anything because we used to, I loved watching the Bob Newhart show and I loved watching Newhart and I loved, loved, loved the season, the, the series finale of Newhart where he wakes up in his life from the Bob Newhart show. That to me is the best series finale that there has ever been. I mean, that was genius. I mean, fantastic. And then my kids liked him because he was on Big Bang Theory. And so, yeah, so I was sad, you know, when I heard that he had died. I mean, he was 94 though, so he had a good life and his wife, that he married in 64, I think I read. So they were married for almost 60 years. Is that right? Yes. Can I add? No. Um, she, she died last year. So they had a long life together. So yeah. So, and his, his comedy, his comedic timing was great. And his phone call comedy was hysterical. So if you, well, most of my viewers, at least if you're viewers in the States, are typically around my age or older, so I'm sure you are well aware. But if for some reason you have not, if you're younger or you just never heard of him, you should look him up and watch some of his, I'm sure they've got clips on YouTube of some of his really funny telephone conversations. So, so yeah, we've been losing a lot of, you know, a lot of people lately. I was going to say things come in threes, but we had the three with Richard Simmons. And now it's like we've got a new, because we had Bob Newhart today and Lou Dobbs. So, so yeah, it, it's probably silly to say things go in threes because there's all kinds of people dying all the time. All right, so... Next, some earrings. So yeah, so I was watching Adrian Miller during my lunch break today. And the video I was watching, she was wearing a really pretty red skirt and she had a wig on that matched. And I just love that about her. She has got such great, I just, I don't know. I just love her style. And and you know, I like to be matchy, matchy. So I appreciate when I see other people kind of doing that, but she's always fun to watch with her. She just, you know, it's, it's like you're just sitting in their living room with her and I don't know, I just love watching her. But anyway, we've got some earrings. She always has really vibrant jewelry, nails, and yeah, I just, She's an inspiration. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess I was thinking of that because of because of earrings. But these are just simple leaf earrings, kind of a light gray and a dark gray posts. And that's interesting. So one of these, I think we may have been in an this one of these may have been in an accident so see the back that this one has well actually let me make sure it's actually part of the back yes it's one of these that has the big piece of plastic on it I like those but this one this one doesn't have that so I think it used to, but it's either broken off or something and it's really bent. So the other one's not bent that much. So I'm going to have to um, push that back out. That's another thing that's easy to get on Timu for under a dollar is earrings. So I kind of went overboard with the earrings but I thought these were cute. Just simple. And I like that they're 
they are mirrored. So I'll wear this one over here, but yeah, this I've got two. So I've, these are my moissanite Timu earrings that I almost never take out, but sometimes this particular hole down here gets bothered. So I haven't been wearing earrings today just to give it a chance to heal, heal up. Those, okay, I paid 17 cents for these. And they're currently 18 cents, so what a deal. Elegant leaf stud earrings for women, perfect for daily wear and dating. Well, I've always been looking for earrings that are good for dating, yay. <laughs> Speaking of dates, my husband and I went to Melting Pot again on Monday of this week. We love the Melting Pot. And if you've never heard of that, it's a fondue restaurant. And right now they are doing, usually for the month of July, they do all you can eat entree course, which is the meat course. So we tried it. The, the only time we go to them is when they're doing that because they give you such small amounts of things to fondue that it doesn't seem worth it unless it's refillable. So we've been, we've gone twice now. We're probably going to go once more next week and then we'll be done for another year. But we love that place. Oh, so good. Okay, next, I think these are clear post-its. But let's see. Yes, they are. They're clear waterproof post-its. These are these are the 1.96 inch by 2.99 inch. There's 50 sheets. So, oh, that's the back. So that's how much of it is sticky. And do I have any? Mm. It's like I want to put it over something so we can see if you can see through it. So yeah, you can see through it. So why did I buy these? I bought these for my Bible. Now, I have said before that I really didn't want to use post-it notes in my Bible because the sticky part is usually covering up words. So unless you put the sticky part on the border or something, which is probably what I'll try to do. But being that it's clear, I thought that might make it okay. But the idea is that if you're a note taker in your Bible, Yes, you can write in the margins if you've got enough space. Or like me, I've been making mine interleaved, which means I've been putting, gluing in a blank piece of paper in between each page. So far, I've only done Matthew because Matthew is the book that I started on once I got this journaling Bible. So at some point, I'm going to totally ruin the spine of the Bible, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. But anyway, I thought... You know, sometimes you could take notes, you could put this directly over the text and then take your notes on this and then flip it up and you wouldn't see the notes. So I don't know. I just, I got different sizes of these. I think this is the only one I've got in this particular haul, but I don't know. I just thought that might be a neat way to take notes to give you more space. I don't know. I just thought it would be better than the solid color post-its because those you would have to flip up to see. So anyway, I paid $1.47 and they are still $1.47. So cool beans.
All right, another pair of earrings. These might have been a free gift. Yes, these were a free gift. This, this, this was my Timu Circle gift for the first half of the month. If you do, if you sign up for Timu Circle, at least, I know it's not offered everywhere, which I think is silly, but if it's offered where you are, your deal may be that if you join, you get two free gifts a month and they make it so it there, you can get one in the first half and one in the second half. At least mine does. It does. It seems like some people's works a little bit different, but this was mine for the first half. Just a pretty, I guess I could put this in, but, um, I just re-upped my Timu circle because mine was expiring on August 4th. So, so yeah, so that's pretty, pretty simple, simple design. And like I said, I got it for free, but if you wanted to pay for it, it would cost you 98 cents. So my daughter that left our family vacation to go on a family vacation with her boyfriend and his mom got home Wednesday of this week after having been gone. She left, she was with us in Tennessee. We left to go to Tennessee on a Sunday and she left there on Monday. So she got a nice, she got a longer vacation by going with them and they went to North Carolina and I was super jealous because one of the days they did thrifting and I love to thrift, but she managed to go in a thrift store and not find a single thing. Like really? How do you do that? <laughs> teach me how to do that. Better yet, teach me how to not walk in in the first place. But yeah, that was, <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Sorry, my throat. I've been having drainage all day. So I've got my Timu thing. And this time, this is a small cup. I'm kind of afraid to, I probably shouldn't. But we went to Five Guys for dinner. So I put my small cup in here. And they had Barks cream soda. So I got red cream soda, which is like my, aside from Dr. Pepper, that is my favorite soda. But, but yeah, if you, are there any beard meets food fans out there? <laughs> if he's got a YouTube channel with tons of subscribers. So if you haven't heard of him, well, you probably don't like to eat like my husband and I do, but he is a, I don't know if he is still a competitive eater, but he's, he does food challenges. So, you know, eat a whole huge pizza by yourself in so many minutes kind of thing. So he's from England and we like watching his channel. So, and he, his favorite burgers are Five Guys. So when we went to Five Guys tonight, it was our homage to him. But yeah, I got a little cheeseburger, which means you just got, get one patty. And it was actually the right size for me. Now, my former self would have always gotten the regular cheeseburger that has two patties, but I'm trying, you know, when you're losing weight chemically, so I'm on Munjaro for my diabetes. Don't, I know I shouldn't be drinking the soda. I know, <laughs> but when you're losing weight chemically like that, that doesn't necessarily mean you're learning good habits i.e. the soda here, but you're also not learning better ways to eat. You just naturally eat less because the drug is telling your brain you're not hungry as often and you kind of get sick if you eat too much. So 
so I was proud of myself for ordering a little cheeseburger and it, it was like just enough. I finished it and I still wanted some more, but I knew that having gotten two patties would have been too much. So it was, it was like just right. So, so yeah, I, oh, look, here's the part of the, so it was in there. It just had fallen off. All right, whatever, Timu. All right, do we have anything else? Okay, we've got a couple more things. So yeah, I apologize. These hauls will be kind of small, but I'm on a budget. And <laughs> my budget is what this channel makes and what I can earn from the Timu Influencer Program. So I have to budget my items. I was using my own money prior for all these months. So my YouTube anniversary is on the 29th. So 11 days from now. So I need to do, I need to do some kind of special video on that day and maybe run a sale on my Etsy shop. So watch for that. But yeah, almost a year, you guys. Think of all the stuff I have in my house now because of that. <laughs> which is why I'm now stuck on my bed. My bed that like the floor is lava and I can never get off of my bed. All right, so next we have a pin. Now, I did the whole mood bag thing and I filled up my mood bag. I've had lots of videos where I, I got pins for my mood bag. This is not going on my mood bag. So what I've decided and this one says my brain has too many tabs open. A few of them are frozen and I have no idea where the music is coming from. This is my life at work. I, for some reason, I function, I have three different monitors and I usually have like 10 tabs on each monitor. It's crazy. So this spoke to me. But in my office at work, there are support beams that have been covered with a really, well, it's like a modern kind of wood. So it's, it's, how do I even describe it? It's not just wood. It's like all these chipped pieces of wood compressed together, but it's like pretty, it's not like particle board kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's done purposefully to add to the aesthetics or whatever. Well, what I decided was is that I would start getting some of these and I would start sticking them into that. It's not going to damage it because it's such a small little, but I would start putting these on there to see if any of my coworkers notice. And then this would be my new mood bag. I would now have a pillar of witticisms <laughs> so that's where this is gonna go and I bought several because this is another thing that you can get for really cheap on Timu so yeah so let's see what this cost but I thought it might also be a kind of a com see I need help socially <laughs> so I thought it might be kind of a conversation starter you know people come in for business things, but then they see these cute little pins and it, you know, gives us something to talk about. So I paid 77 cents and I got two price adjustments and you, okay, well my seller is sold out, but there's lots of other people that have it. And the cheapest one I'm seeing is 98 cents. All right, Oops, I'm gonna lose the pin before I don't go back to the office now until Tuesday. All right, are we on the last thing? No, we've got two more things. I forgot I've got a box. I've got a box, you guys, a real box. I actually ordered something that came in a box. But before that, let's do, we've got a dress. And I'm gonna have to get like a 
throat lozenge, I think. All right, so this is a maxi dress, or what I would call a maxi dress. It's the really soft polyester. So, you know, there's different <laughs> versions of polyester, but it's the really soft one. And it is, I meant to bring a hanger over here, but I didn't. So it's got a cute horizontal stripes for the top. It comes to the waist. It doesn't come with a belt. So I did order some belts, which I think will, once I get that, will go with this. I think, I think I ordered a set of belts, like white, black, and brown maybe. So two of those would go with this. But anyway, vertical stripes for the skirt. And so far I've been impressed with the dresses I've gotten recently. Uh, maxi dresses from that I used to get at regular stores were always too long or that I might order online were always too long because I'm only 5'5". Five five, and they typically tend to work better for people 5'7", five 5'8", five or taller. But so far I've not had problems with the longer ones. So hopefully this will be the same, but these are like my favorite colors. And I just really liked, I liked the style, but it is, how see-through is this? Well, I can't see you, but obviously with all these white stripes, I'll have to be careful. Someone said slip shorts for wearing with white capris and probably dresses like this. And I hadn't really thought about that. And actually, I'll be honest, I was I don't think I'd ever heard of that before because I'm not fashion conscious. So I looked it up and I was like, oh, the ones that I looked up were kind of like shapewear or girdles, you know. And I don't know that that's necessarily what they meant because there were some that were like looser shorts. But the only thing I don't like about shapewear or girdles from the day is if you if you would wear the kind that, you know, come past your hips a little bit, maybe midway between your waist and your knee, they were tighter than your regular skin and so you could see the line of where they ended in your and you know through the pants and I was like I don't want to see the line and so I don't know if it's just gotten better since then and you can't tell that they, that that you're wearing something to that point I don't know but I just I don't know what's the alternative well we'll see the cellulite so I guess the line is better than the cellulite in my case. So, so yeah, so I, I might invest in some slip shorts to go with that. So we'll see. But that dress, let's look it up. Uh, can you believe it's going to be time to start ordering fall and winter clothes here soon? So I prefer summer clothing to winter clothing just because I spent so much time over, I mean, like really overweight that winter clothes were just not pleasant to wear. Sweaters weren't a good look and jeans, forget that, Th those would just hurt at the waist and stuff. So summer was a little bit more forgiving because you could wear t-shirts and capris you know that kind of thing which is just harder in the winter because they're not as warm but it's changed a little bit you know now that I've lost some weight but I still I'm like I don't feel like I've been wearing all my summer clothes for long enough for it to already be mid-July it's crazy we're already closer to Christmas than not Okay, this dress, oh, 
Okay. I paid eleven thirty seven. It's a plus size stripe print cinched waist dress. I got mixed color, but you can also get mixed color in blues and grays instead of the salmons. And you can get one that's even that's dark. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I kind of wish I'd gotten that one. But this one is out of stock at the moment. So, but that's pretty. I'm going to put this on my, if I like the dress, I'm going to put this on my, um, I'm trying to get it so you can really kind of see the colors. That's kind of a better look. Um, I like that. That's pretty. It must have been sold out when I, oh, wait a second. Yeah, it's sold out in. So these dresses go from size 1XL to 5XL. And that one that I think would be really pretty is only available in 3XL right now. But today you can get the dress I got for $14.27. So let's try Notify Me. The problem with Notify Me is that I never go and look at the messages. So it could tell me that it comes back into stock, but I would never notice. But if I do the nifty little thing where you click on the picture up here, let's see. So it doesn't have anybody else because this is the one that I've got. No, wait a second. Is it? Oh no, it is a different one. And it's only half the price. $7.99. Booyah. <laughs> Add to cart. Sorry. I know people probably, but I'm, I'm showing you how Timu works, right? <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So now, so, okay, hold up. Oh, they didn't have the one that I got, they didn't have in this listing for half the price. So, but before I order, place my order, I've started going through and doing that. If it's not for the cheap things, but if it's five bucks or more, I'll go in there and do the camera thing to see if there's any listing that's cheaper before I actually buy it. But I will say that my experience has been if I didn't buy the cheapest one in the beginning, that it comes down to the price of the cheapest one at some point. So then you get the price adjustment. So it's just a matter of where, when do you want that price adjustment? Do you want it? Do you want to just keep your money? Or do you like getting price adjustments so that you have credits to buy more things? Because that's what I do. Actually, I guess all price adjustments probably have to go to credit. So it doesn't bother me. I mean, it would bother me if I bought something and somebody else had it for significantly less. And a lot of those local warehouses are starting to have things for less, but there's the caveat of having to have so much to get free shipping. So what is this? Oh no, I think this is a trash can, you guys. <sighs> I'm saying oh no because it's super skinny, but I bought it because I have a, the master bathroom is super tiny and so there's like hardly any space between the sink and the toilet and the stand-up shower. So this is probably good for that. So nothing too spectacular about it, but it is a trash can and it does come with this kind of a lid. which 
think I think this was supposed to come closed. Okay, a little tape. Okay, this this doesn't seem like this is gonna fit right. Because it was in a oh well maybe I spoke too soon. Seem to go on okay and it's got a little thing up here that locks it into place so and this is probably a four gallon size trash bag that would work in this and it'll have to go in my bathroom because this would be too small for the main bathroom with all the girls <laughs> that all their stuff that they throw away. But I like that it's, yeah, so that's probably not terrible. But, and then it's, I think in the picture it showed you could like put your phone here or a roll of toilet paper or something. But in my house, heck, I am not putting toilet paper out or just anybody can pee on it. It goes in a cabinet. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what the trash can cost. One piece white plastic waste bin with lid, 10 liter, 2.64 gallon capacity. So the four gallon bags should work just fine. Creative slit bathroom trash can and Peanut now wants to get in the box. I paid $10.86 and got one price adjustment, and you can get it today for $14.48. So, yeah, so they show toilet paper in that spot and incense sticks. Press and vote. What? Press and vote. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand that. Easy to store, neat and comfortable. One click press, which that is nice. And that way it'll stay nice looking for a trash can. And because it's narrow, it's easy to hide. So yeah, so I guess that'll probably be okay. All right, so that was it for this haul. What am I gonna get a thumbnail with, you guys? Should I, I don't think, so I, I don't tend to post pose for thumbnails and I've been just <laughs> doing this channel as easy as I can and I've been letting YouTube pick my thumbnails, but maybe I should at least try, try to get YouTube to find one that's not terrible. All right. Well, like I said, that's it for this haul and I'll be getting, hopefully this will be airing on Friday sometime once Timu approves it and I'm probably going to film another video. I don't know. I don't know that I'll put the um, dress on because I got a cat on my lap, which is, she's hot. <laughs> she makes me hot. All right. Well, thank you for spending time with me today and I hope that we see each other again tomorrow maybe. And wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Stop playing with the plastic. And until we meet again, take care. Bye.